I count it but dung. <laughs> you know, it's kind of, kind of silly, isn't it? That when we do without things down here, we have to sacrifice things. And we think quite highly of ourselves for having done without it. Imagine standing on shore heaven and looking around and saying, All I gave up and all I get is heaven. All I get is eternal life. I tell you, I don't know what it costs you to live the Christian life down here, but when you get on shore heaven, you'll say with Paul, I count it but dung. Nobody boasts in dung, you know. You don't take someone over to your mantelpiece and say, look at that, what do you think? That's what I gave up for the Lord. And they say, it looks like dung. So yeah, well, wasn't that big of me to give that up for the Lord? Ridiculous. Compared to what's waiting, Christian, we haven't yet begun to understand the mercies of God toward us, the riches of God toward us. We only have a taste. It's only a sample. It's the little pink spoon with a, with a taste of it. Wait till you get the whole scoop. When Anna Pell was dying, the family gathered round the bed. She said, oh, it's dark. It's so dark. Oh, it's bright. It's so bright. And she was gone. Christian, it's going to be bright there. Oh, the brightness of his glory. Not a shadow upon our souls. Not a, not a discouragement. Not a doubt. Not a lonely thought. It will be heaven to be with our blessed Lord. After we've had a long look at the Savior, and we've peeked around at that glorious place, we might be tempted to take a look at ourselves. And I think one of the greatest surprises of heaven will be to say, Lord, how did you do it? <laughs> I, I seem to be making such little progress, but you actually made me like your son. It's going to happen, you know. And is it so I shall be like his son? But we will be like the sun all in a unique way. You know, God never did a boring thing ever. Never made two snowflakes the same, or two leaves, or two voices the same. You don't think we're all going to be cookie-cutter, assembly-line Christians up there. We'll all be like him, but we'll all be uniquely like him. The Lord Jesus has infinite graces. Every one of us could be like him in a way that no one else is like him in heaven. That's why we all have different circumstances, different pressures on life, because he's got a plan for you in his mind, and he's molding you to be like that vessel that he designed for his glory. And so it will be in that day. When I get to know you in heaven, you'll have the privilege of revealing the loveliness of Christ in a particular aspect that no one else will quite share. So that in heaven, when we see the saints of all the ages, it will be a rainbow of graces manifesting the loveliness of the Lord Jesus. Dear Christians, we're headed for home, and this could be the day.